My name is Giancarlo Alonso. I'm the president and CEO of AmeriCooler, and this is our installation video. All right, guys, we're going to go over the basic requirements needed to install the walk-in. While it is, uh, you know, not the hardest thing to do, we recommend that you use uh, licensed professionals to do this for you. So first and foremost, you want to make sure you got your safety glasses. You know, you can put sunglasses on too if they look a little more stylish, but you can put uh, your box cutter. You want to make sure you got your box cutter. You want to make sure you use a level to level the floor. And you want to make sure you have some gloves to protect your hands. So those are the basic requirements and let's move on to the next section. All right, for this section, we're gonna go over what you need to prepare the job site for successful installation. First and foremost, you wanna clean the floor, make sure the area is nice and clean. Second of all, you wanna level. You wanna make sure the floor is nice and level. Third, you wanna re-measure the area to make sure that the measurements are correct and that you have a clear understanding where the box is gonna go. And last but not least, you wanna leave a two inch clearance between our wall and the building wall for purposes of condensation and mold buildup and so on and so forth. So those are the basics. All right guys, now the exciting part begins. You're gonna be receiving the walk-in cooler. We're gonna show you how to properly inspect the shipment to make sure it's all clear of damages and any uh, missing items, okay? Come on guys. Now we do take a lot of pride in how we package our units. It's been uh, scientifically designed to prevent damages. They do tend to occur. So this part is very simple. We're just gonna show you what to do when you receive your shipment. Very exciting. You got the pallet. Before you let the trucker leave, you wanna inspect it and then you really wanna go around it and take a look from top to bottom and see if there's any damage or there's anything missing. If there is anything missing, we have a pallet inspection form which you're supposed to mark where it is damaged and you also want to mark it on the proof of delivery and we will process your replacement right away. So we're going to move on to the next section and stay tuned because it's getting very exciting. So you'll see that each one of the labels are put strategically outside of the pallet so you can identify the panels along with the packing list. It'll just make it a lot easier as you begin to sort these panels. You'll also notice that we ergonomically set the panel so that the lighter panels tend to be towards the top and the heavier panels are towards the bottom so you can easier lift them off. As we begin to remove the cardboard, you'll see where the installation materials are hidden. All right, so let's keep going to the next section. All right guys, so now that the pallet has been unwrapped, inside you'll find this nice AmeriCooler bag which contains the materials required to install the walk-in. So you'll see there's a box that contains the cam lock hole plugs, in addition to some installation screws, you have the angle irons, you have the vinyl screed screws, you have an Allen wrench, and within you also contain a folder which has the installation guide and the shop drawings. And don't forget to put on this nice hat and tag us on social media. Let's move on to the next section. All right guys, we're gonna start taking those panels off of the pallet and you'll see how we start putting this together. All right guys, so as we continue to take these panels off, you'll notice that they started with the floor. And they squared the floors up, they laid them down, and you'll see them tightening the cam locks, but they're not tightening them all the way. They're just putting enough pressure to hold the panels in place while they continue to assemble the box. So you wanna tighten the cam lock just to, enough to hold the panel in place, but not all the way, so that it has some flexibility left over so you can adjust and square the box up properly. Let's keep going. All right guys, so now that we have the floors down, we're gonna start assembling some of the walls and you'll see that we like to start with the corner. Once that corner is put together and trued up, we can continue to add the rest of the walls and some of the ceiling. You'll see as we continue to go through this. All right guys, so here's a quick uh, detail to note. When they were putting this corner together, they didn't just go and assemble all and tighten all the cam locks. All they did was they set them in place, they tightened the middle cam lock, and then they tightened this bottom cam lock. 
And again, the concept is that you want to leave the panels semi-loose while you continue to build the structure so that it has a little bit of play. And once it's all complete, then you can go and you can tighten it. So let's keep going. So this box happens to be white. Whenever it's a non-standard color, usually it has a protective film. And it's very simple. You just peel it off like so. And we make sure that we put the labels underneath the plastic. So all you gotta do is peel it off, section by section. And hopefully the static doesn't uh, <laughs> uh, tickle you too much. All right? Simple as that, let's keep going. Every single panel is labeled and it's got a nice arrow pointing to the top of the panel. And that'll help avoid you uh, putting panels upside down. Another uh, thing to note is you'll notice that we're gonna put these walls up with this floor and the ceiling and then we're gonna move to the next section. We call these rings and we're gonna put down this floor with the walls and the ceiling and we'll continue to move forward section by section. That's the best way that this thing's gonna go together. So let's keep going. All right guys, as I mentioned earlier, we put the heaviest panels at the bottom of the pallet. The heaviest by far is the door. You'll notice that they're gonna take the panels off of the pallet so that they can access the door. And it's recommended you use at least two, maybe three people to lift the door and set it in place. So we'll see what they, how they do that next. All right guys, so you see we're continuing to progress through the install. You'll see that they put the partition walls on, but before they did that, they put the door to secure that. And since it's heavy, they had one person holding it in place as they put the side walls and then they closed it in and sealed the cam locks. Now, um, since this is a cooler freezer combination that has a panel floor and then it will go onto no floor, you'll see how we begin to set up the vinyl screen so we can continue on this install. So great things coming up, thanks. All right guys, we're getting into a very important part of the installation, which is where we're laying down what we call the vinyl screed for the no floor section of the walk-in. So it's a cooler freezer combo. We're getting into the cooler portion that has no panel floors. So it's, it's gonna go, the walls are gonna go directly on the floor but they're gonna go on this vinyl screed, right? The vinyl screed is important because it has an NSF, National Sanitation Foundation, cove. So it's important that we lay that down before we put the walls. So you can see we already started off by putting it underneath the first walls here on the partition. And to continue this, we're gonna lay down a chalk line which will indicate you know, the, the perfect angle with which to lay these. And before we put the vinyl screed down, we're gonna put a bead of silicone and I'm going to show you how we actually fasten the vinyl screen to the floor. So stay tuned, it's going to get very interesting. Thank you.
All right, guys, you can see we continue to progress through the installation. We're starting to put the vinyl screed down, and you can see we continue to go section by section. Now, another important tool that you may want to have handy when you're doing a floorless walk-in, whether it's a combo or single compartment, is a drill. Okay, you can see that we're using the drill to open the holes through the vinyl screed into the floor so it's properly fastened. You can also see that we continue to go section by section. We have the next ceiling coming up. We continue to close in towards the end of the walk-in. We'll put the door up soon. And you also want to know that on each of the vinyl screeds, for your convenience, there's instructions uh, as well as labels so you know exactly where each one goes. So we're almost done. All right guys, you can see that the structure is about complete. We're gonna do some of the finishing touches now. Now, you remember that I mentioned early on in the video that we weren't gonna fasten the cam locks all the way. We're gonna leave them about 50% closed. So once the structure is complete, we can go back now, now that everything is squared up and we can finish it, right? So all you do is take the Allen wrench, fasten it, and we have our nice little buttons here. I'm gonna put those in place and just continue to do so throughout. You can note that with the, with the gaskets, you have an airtight seal. And last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close and we're gonna fasten the sill plate. We're gonna put the angle irons on the door and we should be about done. So we got about one more section to go and we're complete. how easy it was to put together. It's one of the greatest compliments they receive on a regular basis. The fit and the finish of the box is the best that they've ever seen. It's one of the many reasons why we're the fastest growing walk-in cooler manufacturer in the United States. By the way, it is all made in the United States. So thank you all to the cast and crew of the video. Thank you to all of our customers and thank you for watching. We have a lot of exciting content coming out, so stay tuned.